Hey, it's the Droid Guy here, and we are going to take a quick unboxing look at the Kyocera Echo that's new to Sprint this week. The Kyocera Echo is an Android 2.2 device with dual 3.5 inch screens. When you connect them together, you get a screen that's 4.7 inches diagonally. In your box, you're going to notice there's two boxes, of course. And here's your phone. But one thing that we want to show you before we dive into the actual unboxing of this phone is that one of the things Kyocera realized is that powering two screens is going to take a lot of juice. That's why they've included a second 1370 milliamp per hour battery and the smart little charger. The battery goes right in here, closes up, plugs into USB here, and it can tether to the phone and supply extra battery or you can just swap them out. Uh, when the other battery dies. Now, we were able to get about six hours out of the first battery before we even had to go into the second one. And that's pretty good for Kyocera. But also keep it in mind that they want to use this phone, People, they want people to use this phone for multimedia, to watch videos, YouTube, play games, etc, etc, etc. So, they were smart enough to include a second battery and this nifty little charging pack. Also in the box, of course, is your regular old USB, micro USB cord and the plug in the wall thing right here, the adapter to plug in the USB charger. As far as the phone goes, we have a 3.5 inch screen in Android 2.2, like I said, powered on, it's got a nice clean crisp display, all the Android 2.2 goodness that you're used to, and if you do this, instead of, a, instead of a keyboard, you've got two screens. Now you can look at the screens like this, kinda like a little laptop Nintendo DS thing going on here, you can look at them with this big space in the middle, or you can slide them together and you have 4.7 inches diagonally from here to here with these two screens. It's pretty responsive as you can see, you just you know do the little thing here to make it go from uh, portrait to landscape. But what's really great is how some of the apps like YouTube utilize the dual screen. So let's check out YouTube real quick. As you can see, the YouTube is scrolling up and using the 4.7 seven inches as a full screen here but let's just pick out a video Kelly Rowland motive oh it says it's explicit so we won't actually watch the video as you'll see the video is going to come up on this screen and the information is going to come up down here and it keeps it separate so it's like two different screens isn't that cool that's pretty awesome you can watch YouTube like that or like this but here you'll actually see a full screen view and obviously we don't have that great a 3G connection here where we're taking this video. Other things that actually take advantage of utilizing this whole screen can be found by using this app here. This tablet mode extension allows you to download Android applications to run in tablet mode on the 4.7 inch screen. Using the extension you'll notice that you can actually get a full screen experience on both sides like 4.7 inches instead of 3.5 inches in portrait or landscape and that tablet extension allows most of the apps in the Android market to freely move about the 4.7 inches of real estate. Now what's powering this thing? There's a 1 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. It's not, you know, the latest and greatest, but it's not going to slow you down. It has a 1370 milliamp per hour battery, like I showed you earlier. The other battery is there as a spare. You could take it with you on the go, wherever you need to go. 5 megapixel camera here on the back that has 2 times digital zoom and 720p recording that you can play back on your 4.7 inch screen or your 3.5 inch screen, whichever one floats your boat. Now, another great thing about this, this Sprint phone allows you to connect up to 5 users using Wi-Fi in a 3G area. No, it's not 4G WiMAX, but we've actually checked and Sprint has a lot more of the country covered by 3G than 4G. So if you live in one of those markets where you're not getting 4G anytime soon, the Sprint Kyocera Echo is definitely a phone worth checking out. It's running Android 2.2 Froyo. There's no word on whether they're going to upgrade it to Android 2.3 Gingerbread, but I think that they actually might. They've actually included a lot of things that make the experience going from the small screen to the big screen a lot of fun and easy. Now where is this phone going to come in handy? It's going to be for people that need the extra screen real estate but would rather have it in a smaller package. It's your in between a regular phone and a tablet phone and you know this 4.7 inches may just do you good. And the only flaw about the screen is when you're watching a movie, you have this black line right in here. But it's kind of like watching a video wall, so it's really not that bad after all. As you can see, it's got a brilliant crisp screen. Things move about the screen with the 1 GHz Snapdragon processor pretty quickly, actually. 
and it knows whether it's in little mode or big mode. That's what we'll call it, little mode and big mode. You like that? We spent a day of it, day with it today. Like I said earlier, we got about six hours out of the battery before we charged it up to do this video. All in all, we've been pretty satisfied with the Kia Sera Echo that we've been demoing today. And uh, it, it feels like a whole different device than the one we looked at back in February. It's available starting tomorrow, that's Sunday, April 17th, for $199 after a $100 mail-in rebate or a $100 instant rebate, depending on what store you go to. And it's available starting on Sunday for with a two-year contract. So go ahead and check it out, the Kia Sera Echo. Why Echo? Because it's two screens are better than one. We'll have more on the Kia Sera Echo after we spent a little bit of time with it, but this is the Droid Guy, and this is the Kia Sera Echo.